Hey guys, this is Ryan with PC Battle Stations here with the Battle Station Showcase Episode 6. We got five great setups today that you guys are gonna love. First one we have is gonna be a sweet setup from Wayne. He's got some awesome LED picture frames. Second setup is Iron Patriot from Michael. The third setup is Jonah, got some great lighting going on. The fourth one is a great setup from Andrew. And finally, a nice white and clean minimalistic setup from Archive. Let's get started. First setup is Wayne, and I'm really loving his setup. As you can see, the LED picture frames are extremely unique. You don't see those around. Um, he's got a store on Etsy called Straight Up Concepts where he's selling these. Um, excellent job. Here's another look using green on the LED picture frames. Digging the single monitor setup and the NZXT H440 Razor Edition case. These blueprint posters are from Volpin Props. And on the right, you can see the Needler from Halo. Love that game. Just found out it's coming to PC on Steam. Extremely excited about that. And then we got the Legend of Zelda, the Master Sword, and Big Daddy from Bioshock there on the left. Here's an excellent pick with some great natural light coming in there. The desk is a Hammert 74-inch solid oak tabletop with the Oddvald trestle legs, and cable management is the Signum cable tray, all from IKEA. On the left there, he's got the Toman swing arm LED desk lamp. The keyboard is the Razer Black Widow X Chroma, the mouse is Razer Mambo Tournament Edition, all sitting on the VipAmps Extended Triple XL non slip 36 inch by 12 inch mouse pad. The speakers he has back there are the Logitech Z313. The monitor is an Alienware AW3418DW hanging on the Video CQ ML12B monitor mount. And here's a great shot of the token plant that every battle station should have and it's undetermined whether or not it's actually real or fake, even though a real one would probably do really well here using the natural light in his room. And the headset above that is the Razer Manowar 7.1 surround sound headphones. And here's a good shot of his NZXT H440 Razer Edition case. Let's take a look at the guts of it. Motherboard is the ASUS ROG Strix Z370E. CPU is the Intel Core i7-8700K, cooled by the Thermaltake Take Nick Series C5. RAM, he has 16 gigs of Ballistic Sport LT series. GPU is the ASUS ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti. PSU is the EVGA Supernova 850 G2. Fans are Fantex. Well, that's gonna wrap up Wayne's awesome setup. If you're interested in those RGB picture frames, check out his store on Etsy, which is the Straight Up Concepts. Excellent work. Next up is Michael with his sweet setup and he calls this one Iron Patriot. As you can see that there's an Iron Patriot figurine on top. I'll show you in a picture here in a little bit. And this PC is pretty sweet. It's hydro dipped, custom paint job with American flag. Did a great job with the water cooling. New addition to his setup is the Bose TV5 soundbar. The screen on the lower right there is the Kumin 7 inch capacitive touchscreen TFT LCD display HDMI module. And here's a good look at his Iron Patriot figurine on top of the PC. Gotta keep an eye on everything, making sure everything's all good. Let's wander around his room a little. You can see the custom paint job of the American flag. Excellent job there. And the case is the Thermaltake Core P90 case, hydro dipped. CPU he has is the Intel Core i7-7820X processor. Motherboard is the Gigabyte X299 Aorus Gaming 7 Pro. Got 64 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z RGB RAM. And there's the Gigabyte Aurorus GeForce GTX 1080i Extreme Edition. Here's the shot of his power supply with some red, white, and blue custom cables, which goes well with the theme. And moving around the corner, you can see he's using a Thermaltake Pacific Temperature Sensor G and a quarter digital display with alarm. And he's using the Thermaltake Pacific M360 Plus D5 Res Pump Hard Tube Water Cooling Kit. Just a good look at Iron Patriot and excellent work with the hard tube bends. Looking beautiful. The monitor he has is an ASUS 4K PG278Q. Headset is a Steel Series Siberia 840. I spy a US Army pin there on his monitor stand, which I am very familiar with being a veteran myself, and he also served too. The keyboard he has is the Logitech G910, and the mouse is the Logitech G900. Sitting over there on the left is the Samsung Chromebook Pro. Well, that'll wrap up Iron Patriot from Michael. Excellent job with the custom paint job there and the hard tube water cooling. Keep up the good work, and hope to see some more setups for you in the future. Next up is Jonah. I love his setup, love the lighting he has going on. 
Love the neon cloud light that he has up there from Amazon. Although we have a couple sets of pictures, this is his older setup. He did a couple changes. We have some uh, current pics of his new setup. Sadly to announce that the neon cloud light did not make the cut. Love the BMW car wallpaper that he has there. And the lighting he's using is the Philips Hue light strip behind the desk there. Here's a shot of his monitors in a different orientation. And those monitors are BenQ GW2480. He gets some great natural light going on in here. As you can see, his plants are doing really well, love the greenery. And his table is from Ikea. Here's a shot of his current setup, and as you can see, the neon sign got fired. Case is now on the floor, and in his place is the Philips Hue Play Bar. The keyboard he's using is the Razer Ornata Chroma. And the mouse is a Corsair Glaive RGB. Here's a good shot of his Bose SoundLink Mini 2 Bluetooth speaker. The case he now has on the floor is the NZXT H500, which is an extremely popular case in the battle station world. Let's go ahead and dive into the components. Inside, he's using a Ryzen 5 2600X CPU, being cooled by the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim. He's got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM and Be Quiet Seven Wings 3 fans. Moving on down, he has an MSI Gaming GTX 1060 Gaming X 6G. 500 gig Samsung 860 Evo along with one terabyte Toshiba P300 hard drive. And then the power supply is a Be Quiet Pure Power CM-600W. Let's take a look underneath the desk for his cable management and it looks like he's using the IKEA Signum cable tray. And that'll wrap up Jonah Sweet's setup. I love what you've done with the new current look, although I'm a little sad about the neon cloud not making it. Rest in peace little guy. Next up, we have Andrew with his suite setup, and looks like he's part of the Carlby Club. As you can see, the desktop is IKEA Carlby Top, along with the Alex drawers, and that unique chair is the Uplift Pursuit Ergo Chair. Although he said it wasn't that comfortable, so he replaced it with something that is, which you'll see later in his setup. The monitors are the Acer Predator 32 inch, 165 hertz, Z321 QU. Keyboard he has is the Logitech G Pro. And the mouse is the Logitech G903, all sitting on top of the Corsair MM300 gaming mouse pad. Once you pull that chair away, it looks like you can see his subwoofer right there. I'd end up kicking it a lot. And he's got some uh, nice little footrests down there. The speaker system is the Corsair SP2500. And the headset there is the Razer Nari Ultimate. Let's take a look inside his computer, and it looks like he also has the very popular NZXT H500i. Motherboard he's using is the ASRock Z170. CPU is the Intel i7 6700K. RAM he has 16 gigs of G-Skill. And then GPU is the MSI GTX 1070. And for an SSD, he's got the Samsung 750 Evo. And this last picture here of Andrew's setup, you can see that they swapped out that chair with something a little more comfortable. He also swapped out the headphone stand and he looks like he has a new light. And he also added some pictures on the wall, which are pretty sweet. He also looks like he has a little OCD in him, as well as I do, by looking at his air canisters there, all pointed directly the same way. Even though I have a little OCD myself, I kind of want to just take one of those air canisters and just move it slightly, just to kind of see his reaction. Looks like he also moved the subwoofer out. I probably would have done the same thing too. I kind of would have been kicking it a lot. And he added a drink. Um, now I'm kind of thirsty. So that'll wrap up Andrew Sweet's setup. Keep up the good work. I love the current setup. White Alex Jurors, the Carlby Top, the pictures, everything else you got going on. Excellent job. And last but not least, we have a setup from Archive, which I'm glad he told me how to pronounce it, or else I would have completely butchered it. He's got a very, very white theme, a little splash of black. Excellent cable management. You can see the power cables down there and all the cables going up to his computer. Very clean, very minimalistic. Excellent work. Love the lighting that he's got going on on that white palette. Every really kind of light kind of just pops. Monitor, he's got the cables running through the wall for a nice clean cable management. The only problem is, is the United States electric code. I don't think you can shoot the power through the wall like he's doing right now. Um, the monitor is the LG 32 inch 32GK 850G. It's a 1440p G Sync. 165 hertz. Monitor mount is a Nievo WMK-01. Here's a cool shot, close up of his mouse, which he's using the Logitech G603. Keyboard is a Logitech G613, and all sitting on the Logitech G840 mouse pad. 
The headset he's using there is the white Corsair Void Pro RGB wireless. It's hanging on just a universal acrylic stand. Here's kind of a cool close-up shot of the must-have battle station plant. Little pop of green among all the white that he has going on. Looks great. Moving on down below, let's take a look at his tower, which is the fractal design Define R5. CPU he has the Intel Core i7 9700K, being cooled by the Noctua NHD15. GPU is the MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Gaming X Trio. RAM he has 16 gigs of the Corsair Vengeance. Motherboard is the ASUS ROG Strix Z390F. SSD has a 500 gig Samsung 970 Evo. For cooling inside the case, he's got three Noctua NFP14S along with two Dynamic GP14s. Power supply is the Seasonic Focus Plus Gold 750 watt. And let's just enjoy a little video of his Pomeranian, I believe. Oh, are we boring you? Let's take a look at his cable management. Looks like uh, he's managing the power right there. It looks pretty good. Kind of doing the same with the uh, cables going up uh, from the PC tower to the actual desk there. Um, that'll wrap it up from archive setup. Excellent job, very clean, very white, very minimalistic. Looks great. Hopefully you guys like those setups. Just like every episode, we're gonna have the specs down in the comments below. If you liked the episode, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do that now. Don't forget to check out the website at pcbattlestations.com and we will see you guys next time.